this week's video, I'm going to be talking about self-reflection and creating a self-portrait as an artist. And I'm going to be talking mainly why I do this, because I'm more than just an artist. There's so much more to me. You only see a certain part of me each week or every time I do a video. And I've tried to be a little more open in this past year, in 2023, so you know more about me. But one of the things that I do is I start a reflection of who I am as a woman, my uh, beliefs in God, my um, beliefs of how I create my abstracts and how they come from snippets of myself as a child and, and the way I grew up and the way I see things and what I'm going through in my life. I look back at a couple of the self-portraits I did during the time when my mother was very ill with um, Alzheimer and dementia. I'll actually put the picture here, the portrait here. I was in pain with her being so sick. So it was part of my art journey. It was, it was, it was inclusive of when I was painting. It came out in my paintings. What we're going through, who we are, how we meditate, how we um, believe in God or those that don't believe in God. All that becomes a part of who we are as an artist. And I look back at some of my self-portraits or my ruminations, as I called this video, or self-reflecting um, paintings. And I see the reflection of what I was going on that year. And when I paint these, I don't necessarily paint them as a reflection of the entire year. I paint them as a reflection of what I'm going through when I paint them, if that makes sense. So I wanted to share this with you because I think it's important for us to look at our cells as an artist, <clears throat> who we are, what we love, what we like, it comes out in our art. So it's a very personal time for us to just reflect. And this is the way that I reflect. I thought I'd share it with you in case you wanted to start a self-reflecting painting of some sort every year or however often you want to do it. So without further ado, let's jump into the video and I hope you find this of uh, some interest and if anything may be entertaining. I wanted to share with you the 2022 portrait that I decided to frame and call my portrait for last year. And as I mentioned, I do one every year. Portraits are not something I do. I mean, they're abstract paintings. They're not really a portrait, but it's an abstract rendition of, of how I'm feeling, who I am, and here she is. Now she is um, very colorful, very abstract, and I will hang her because um, I I like her. And it's I went through a lot of health issues last year, went through a lot of testing, and I am 100% healthy. Everything came out normal. Um, <laughs> a lot of tests, but. I just, my, it was just a portrait of my abstract nude body, in my opinion, and um, I, I love her. And so I hope that you do something like this. It could be your face, it could be your hands, it could be just anything that you feel like uh, being a part of you that you can look back on and just remember the good parts of the year and... Uh, who you are as a woman, as unique as you are. Um, again, I have another necklace, and um, it's a very, very long. Actually, comes down to my my waist. I really enjoy it, 
And the uniqueness about me is I don't mind wearing my shirt inside out when I have paint all over it because I want to look a little bit more put together for you. So be as unique as you want. Be quirky. Be, be you. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video with the journals and the portraits. And they, um, they were fun for me to do. So thank you again for being a part of my life. I love each of you, and I love that you're a part of my world and all the messages you leave me. So, again, thank you for being a part of my world, and let me know if you um, think you may want to enjoy doing an a abstract self-portrait of yourself.
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is basically finish her up. She's very rough, and that's what I wanted. I don't want anything that is going to show. It's it's not it's not a showstopper, so to stay. So I'm adding some gold. I'm going to get some water in there, and I don't, I want to do some splatters. what I wanted to do and I'm going to sign her in gold So I hope this has encouraged you um, to perhaps try your own self-reflection, um, self-portrait. It can be in any type of art that you do. I just do abstracts, so mine are very abstract. You can tell the ones I made when I first started painting, um, the one where the lady's eyes were too close together. These were for me, but as I look back and I reflect on them, I'm so glad I've done them and I would love for you to give me a comment if you do this if you think you may want to try to do this you can write on the back things you can write yourself a prayer to God on the back um, a, a self gratitude statement for the year um, promises and hopes for the next year make it so uniquely yours and some of these I frame, some of them I just put in a journal, but I do go back and look at them because they are a part of who I am as a artist, as a woman, as a mother, a mother-in-law, a grandmother, a wife, all those things. And um, as God says, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Anyway, I love you all. Thank you for joining me. And um, don't forget to do a, um, a thumbs up to encourage me and let me know what you think about creating your own little uh, ruminations.